everyone today I'm here to do another tag video today I'm here to do the summer reader book tag because it is summer like what I did there um, anyway I was not tagged in this video I actually saw it on Jesse's channel um, and I was like a summer tag definitely I don't do enough seasonal tags just kidding I do a ton so anytime I see a seasonal tag I hop right on that anyway the creator of this tag was Island of Books I believe I will leave her link down below as well as Jesse's video so yeah let's get on to the summer of books because yay summer even though I really don't like summer all that much because it's a lot question number one lemonade which I don't like I used to work at Chick-fil-A where I would have to squeeze lemons like every day and because of that I hate lemonade now so thanks Chick-fil-A otherwise I love Chick-fil-A I just hate making I just won't eat certain products because I make them so much there book that started off bitter but ended up being good hmm good good question I don't know for this one I haven't really read a lot of like starting off bitter books but eventually got better I will say the one I finished recently it was beautiful sacrifice i think called jamie mcguire it's the characters were really bitter at the beginning and the end they kind of seem much more or less bitter but they were still kind of bitter if that makes any sense so i'm gonna go with that one number two is golden sun a book that made you smile beyond compare for this one i'm selecting saint anything by sarah Destin. i'm trying to keep this tag with fairly recent books that I've read. So Say Anything Made Me Smile. It's the recent book by Sarah Dessa. Love it. I don't have it because my friend's borrowing it, but oh, that made me smile so, so much. Tropical Flowers, a book set in a foreign country. I'm Wanda Beck, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Ahid. This was definitely set in a foreign country for sure. Tree Shade, pick a book in which a mysterious or shady character was introduced. Breaking the rules a little bit, but I'm gonna pick Minnow off of The Sacred Lives of Minnow Blah. And the reason for that is because we do know Minnow was in a cult and her hands were cut off, but that's all you really know. You want to know more about what happened to her why it happened to her so that's what the kind of mystery builds on minnow because you don't really know much about her other than what had happened to her but you want to know how and when and like what all these events led up to why so it's very very mysterious minnow was definitely mysterious beach sand pick a book where the plot was grainy the plot where the the plot was barely developed and um I don't really know for this one. I haven't read a book in quite some time that I didn't really think the plot was really, really not developed. So I'm going to skip this one slowly. Green grass. Pick character or characters that were full of life making you smile. Um, for this one, I'm going to go with my standby Harry Potter. All the characters are so full of life. They may all make me smile a ton. Um, other people, um, a lot of characters from the Throne of Glass series make me smile, like Selena and Kale and all those weird damn people. <laughs> <laughs> they all make me smile. Watermelon. Pick a book full of juicy secrets. Any really one of Jamie McGuire's books. There, I feel like, um, especially with her series, The Maddox Brothers, I think it's called, each one of those books has like a secret about one of the characters. And you will usually guess it throughout the book, but still it's like full of secrets. Like, why is this character like this? There's been something that's happened in them. What's the secret? And so they're full of secrets. I won't say they're like juicy secrets, but they're secrets. <laughs> Sun Hat. Pick a vast, big universe slash setting. For that one, I'm going to pick Across the Universe by Beth Revis because it's told in space. That's not a big vast unis universe for you. I don't know what is. Plus, it's an awesome book. This book does not get enough much love. Please read this freaking book. I have reviews on it. Check it out. I just need, people need to read this book. That's, a, uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Barbecue, pick a book a character was portrayed as a hunk. Name them, there has been so many. I mean, we got four from Divergent, um, hello. Evan from the Fifth Wave, hello. Kale from the Throne of Glass series. Like, I could go on and on. Pretty much every YA book has a, a hunk in it and I love them. Yeah. Summer fun, pass the tag along. I will tag a couple people. I'll tag Jamie over um, at Emergo Books. She hasn't been making videos a lot lately, which makes me sad because I miss seeing her face, so I hope she makes this, because I love her. As well as Beth June 327 where you at, girls? Where are you at? Make this video. Make me happy. You could do it. And Cassie or Cassie Von Shea and Jessica for his precious one. I tag a lot of you guys. Anyway, that is all for me. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the summer. And it's not too hot where you are. Today it's rainy, but usually it's hot. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Why he loves it so much? I think he's trying to take takes his hat off. Look. I was three and you were five. There you go. There's Wendy. Yeah, you love Wendy. Which is great because I love Toy 